today's Food for Thought comes from the 71st Psalm, verses 5-8, through 8, which reads, For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. I have become as a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. This psalm was either written by David or another psalmist. It is one of great reflection by one who was now an elder. They had gone through many things in their life and they could look back on it and say to God, You are my hope, you are my rock, you are my refuge. It takes a great deal of humility and wisdom for one to be able to make such a statement. The reason why I say this is because most folks have a me, 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 look at what I have done type of mindset. Yes, we certainly do accomplish, we certainly do overcome many things in our life, but we must understand that we accomplished and we overcame nothing by our own strength and might alone. The elder psalmist acknowledges that it was the Lord that upheld them from birth. All that they had done over the span of their lifetime, the psalmist says that it was God that upheld them. I may not physically be an elder, but I am certainly one who is an elder in walking in the faith. So let me tell you, when you begin to think that you're walking on this journey on your own, I want you to understand that you are not. When you begin to think that you have made it on this journey by your own strength and might, you have not. The psalmist said that they had become a wonder, a testimony to me. But in great humility, the psalmist gave all the glory and the praise to the Lord. All of us who are genuine of faith, whether you realize it or not, you are a wonder to all of those that are around you, whether they realize it or not. Yet, we ought not glory in being a wonder because we did not become a blessing and a testimony by our own strength. You and I, we are a testimony of the Lord. So let your mouth be filled with praises of the Lord so that somebody somewhere can know that it is God who is truly the wonder.